A random sample of 11 statistics students produced the following data, where X is the third exam score out of 80, and Y is the final exam score out of 200. The results are given in the table below. Is there a correlation between the third exam score and the final exam score? What is the correlation coefficient? What is the equation of the regression line? If a student got a grade of 73 on the third exam, what would be the predicted score for the student's final exam? If a student got a grade of 50 on the third exam, what would be the predicted score for the student's final exam? We will answer the first question as to whether or not there is a correlation between the third exam score and the final exam score by doing a hypothesis test in which the null hypothesis is rho equal to zero, where rho, the Greek letter R, stands for the correlation coefficient equaling zero. Rho not equal to zero is the alternative hypothesis. If we decide to fail to reject the null hypothesis, then our conclusion will be that there is no correlation. However, if we reject the null hypothesis and therefore support the alternative, then our conclusion will be that there is a correlation. To do this hypothesis test, we'll use the TI-83. And going to the TI-83, we'll go first to the stat enter list editor and input the data into list one and list two. I strongly recommend that you use list one and list two to perform the hypothesis test for correlation. Now with the data in list one and list two, we can go to the stat button, test menu, and use the up button twice to go to the linear regression t-test, which is letter E. Press enter, and we have the linear regression t-test. The input for the x list should be list one, and for the y list should be list two. The frequency is set at one, and for the inequality found in the alternative hypothesis, select not equal to zero, which which corresponds to the row not equal to zero. Under regression EQ, we want the Y subscript one. If you do not have the Y subscript one in your calculator, you can get it there by following these easy steps. First, press on the varies button, then go to the Y varies menu, select number one for function, and number one Y subscript one. Finally, we'll go to calculate, Looking at the output for the linear regression t-test, we see first the y equal to a plus bx, which is the equation of the regression line. Beta not equal to zero and rho not equal to zero are the alternative hypotheses in this hypothesis test. t equal to 2.66 is the test statistic for this linear regression t-test. p equal to 0.026 is the p-value, and we see that the degrees of freedom are equal to 9. Here, a equal to negative 173.5 refers to the a in the regression equation, and in the regression equation, a is the y-intercept. Using the down arrow to continue down the list, we see that b is equal to 4.83 approximately, b is the slope of the regression line, s is the standard deviation, R squared is called the coefficient of determination, and R is the correlation coefficient. To answer the question, is there a correlation between the third exam score and the final exam score, we need to consider the p-value, which in this case is 0 0.026. This is a low p-value, especially when compared to an alpha significance level of 5%, or 0 0.05. Therefore, if p-value is low, we reject the null hypothesis. By rejecting the null hypothesis, we reject that there is no correlation, and we support that therefore there is a correlation. In answering the question, what is the correlation coefficient, all we need do is to scroll down to where r is given, and we see that r is equal to 0 0.6631 to four decimal places. For the question, what is the equation of the regression line, we have the a and b that are given for the regression line equation. However, when we pasted y subscript 1 into the linear regression t-test under regression eq, we commanded the calculator to paste the equation of the regression line into the y equal to button under y subscript 1. 
And here we see the equation of the regression line. y is equal to negative 173.5 plus 4.83x. Notice that the slope of the regression line is 4.83 the number before the x, or the x coefficient, and the y-intercept is negative 173.5. To see a graphical representation of this problem, we go to the second stat plot menu, select plot 1, turn it on, and then use the down arrow to go to type, and select the first type of graph, which is the scatter plot diagram. The X list is L1, and the Y list is L2, and the mark is the little square, which will be used to mark the data points given in the table. To plot this graph, we now go to the Zoom key, followed by the number 9. And here we have our data points, along with the regression line, also called the line of best fit, or the least squares line, sometimes also called the trend line in programs like Excel. And this regression line will be used to predict students' scores on the final exam, given their scores on the third exam. The first question asks, if a student got a grade of 73 on the third exam, what would be the predicted value of the student score on the final exam? With the graph being shown on the calculator, a very nice way to do this problem is to use the Calculate button, which is immediately above the trace key in yellow. So I'll go to Second, then Calculate, and we want to calculate a value, so we'll simply hit enter, and the x value, which corresponds to the score on the third exam, for this problem is the number 73. And when we hit enter, we see a point on the regression line, which has an x value of 73, and a predicted y value of 178.88, which since this is a score on the exam, probably ought to be given as 179. To clear the graph, just simply hit the graph key, and the graph is cleared. Answering the question, if a student got a grade of 50 on the third exam, what would be the predicted score for the student's final exam? We can attempt this in the same way, going to the Calculate button, selecting Value, and inputting 50, and hitting Enter. And when we do so, we see that we get an error statement. Anytime we get an error statement, it's a good idea to hit the number 2 for Go To if it's there. And you can see that the calculator brings us back to the input X being 50. And the reason we got this error statement is that our values go from a third exam score of 65 up to a third exam score of 75. So in making predictions, we can only use third exam scores between 65 and 75. Attempting to make a prediction with a third exam score outside of this range is called extrapolating. And in correlation and regression, prediction, which involves extrapolating, is fraught with many dangers. Because although this set of data has a fairly linear model, it might not be true that that model is linear for any values beyond that range. So that if you're asked to make a prediction for an x value which is outside of the range of the x values the reply would be that it is not possible to make such a prediction using this model.